how we doing how we doing people welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a blessed day i'm having a blessed day myself man um today was a was a tough day man you know it was um the enemy was really trying to attack my head today and uh i should have just prayed and could have relieved all of it but you know i was just in my head you know at work but honestly it was to the point where i didn't want to like work out and film today but i'm just like you know let me stop being a little girl man and let me just get in here put this work in because you know that's what we do you know but gosh my hair was looking crazy sorry <laughs> but yeah man if you're new to the channel please don't forget to like and subscribe bro we are already like halfway to like 800 i don't know how old like man that's god right there bro i don't hey i don't know man i don't know but I think we can do it, man. That a thousand, man. I think we can do it. I know. Actually, I know we can do it, man. So, sorry if you can see this like bag. It's like swinging. <laughs> it's the it's the punching bag. But, anyways, yeah. So, let's get to it, man. Let's get to a thousand. I know we can do it. But, anyways, <clears throat> I really need to get going on this um workout. And yeah, my pre-workout was just killing me, and I had like an interesting day. So honestly, I'm just being a baby about it, bro. Like honestly, it wasn't that bad. I'm just like, I'm just complaining. I need to stop complaining. You should be grateful for even being alive and breathing today. But yeah, um, I say, let's get into a verse, man, and we'll go from there. All right. So today's verse is Romans 7, verse 24 and 25. It's kind of long, but it says, "Oh, what a miserable person I am! Who who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death?" thank god the answer is in jesus christ our lord so you see how it is in my mind i really want to obey god's law but because of my sinful nature i am a slave to sin so like basically like i think this is paul talking here i believe don't call me i could be wrong but essentially what he's saying is that like this in this whole chapter he's saying like even though he he wants to do good his sinful nature will make him do bad like he does the bad even though he like wants to do good he does the bad things that he doesn't want to do because of his sinful nature. And it's not like him doing it, it's the sin that's within him. So like, that's why he says I'm a slave to sin because by his sinful nature, like, and that like, you can like, and that's why like, they were talking, they were talking about the law, like in the Old Testament, right? And the reason why Jesus came is because we couldn't pass that law, bro. It was impossible. Like, it was impossible for us. I didn't live during that time, but I just know that, like, the stuff they had to do, if you've ever heard the Old Testament, bro, they had to, like, sacrifice animals, like, for every sin, not just for their sins, for, like, a bunch of animals for, like, all their sins. So, like, imagine that. Like, everybody in the world had to sacrifice everything. But, like, yeah, it doesn't work like that. So, that's why Jesus came and, like, he died for all of us so that we can be cleansed completely and we don't have to, like, keep sacrificing. Because, by nature, bro, we're gonna always like fall short like by nature that's why it says because of my sinful nature i'm a slave to sin because we are slave to sin bro we're all sinners and we need to always give god the glory because he's the reason we even are like free of that free of temptation free of sin that's why it says thank god and the answer is jesus and jesus christ our lord because he's the reason why we are even free of that and we just always need to give him the glory for everything, bro. Honestly, that's something I need to work on, too. I always thank God for everything, for allowing me to do as well, allowing me to be a vessel for the, to spread the light. But I also need to, like, thank him for the little things, bro. I feel like we get tracked, we get caught up in the things that, like, God doesn't do for us. Like, bro, the fact that we even woke up this morning, the fact that you have a car. If you don't have a car, well, sorry. Um, that's God for one. I don't know. But the fact that, you know, you have food, the fact that you have a place to live. Like, we need to start focusing on the small things that we should be grateful for and then because i feel like god notices that and he, he appreciates it you know because everything good is from him so i feel like we, if we focus on those things the small things well is i think it's somewhere in the bible it says if you are if you are faithful for, with little you'll be faithful with a lot so once you become grateful for the little things you have and grateful for the things god has done for you the little things then what you get when he blesses you with a bunch of abundance then you'll feel fulfilled because you're like oh, okay well this is nothing new because i was already faithful and your faith will be increased even more so that's what really honestly i got from it and i feel like that's the main thing we should focus on is just like always giving christ the glory and is always remaining faithful to him and doing it as well but i don't know that's what i got <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments man and bro, please like the video, man. Please, please. And watch the whole video. 
And y'all need to tell me if, like, the content's getting stale, bro. Because, like, I be in my head sometimes, bro. And I'm like, oh, is the content good? Like, I don't know. So I be, like, freaking out like, if I need to change it or something. So if you want to see new ideas or whatever, let me know in the comments, bro. But, like, honestly, at this point, I'm just going to keep doing what I do. Also, welcome to episode 16 of The Cut. We're still going strong. Um, we are doing chess today. And... We're just going to get right into this workout. We're going to start with peg deck if it's not taken. Hopefully it's not. And if it is taken, I'm doing cables. But we need to get into this, bro, because I just need to go. So love you guys. God bless. Let's get it. All right, we are on to this horizontal bench press. I don't like regular bench press, so I'm doing this. I don't care. Bench press, honestly, bro, I feel like you don't really have the best range of motion when you do regular bench press, and that hurts my shoulder. And I do proper form, so don't even say I'm not doing proper form, bro. But here, start with a plate. Um, dude, honestly, I haven't done this in like maybe two weeks, maybe a month, to be honest. I kind of swapped it out for, I don't even remember what I swapped it out for. I just don't do that much anymore. I don't know. I think I swapped it out for like cables. No, no, no. There's this chest press machine upstairs. That's way nicer. At least I think. But usually when I do this, I only go to like three plates. But that was when I was bulking. So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do. But we're going to get into it, bro. We're going to see. We're on to this incline press here. Probably gonna go for 10, 10 as well. I'm gonna go up to three plates on the freaking horizontal freaking bench press. It felt smooth, but I don't know. It's different. When I'm supposed to get to three plates, I don't really like feel like I lose like kind of the, like focus on controlling it. So I don't know. But honestly, bro, this is a really, like, old workout. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, I did that and now I'm doing this. This is old. Like, this is, like, stuff I did, like, when I first got to the gym. So, it's actually a trip. But, I mean, it's cool. It's still a good workout, but we will finish off this. And then I got... I'm actually, no, I'm doing dips after this. So I got dips after this, which is super interesting because I've actually just started including dips into my routine. But I just feel like it's a great way to target more, like, the lower chest, I feel, when I'd be doing them. But yeah, man, I'm gonna hit this, then we'll go on the dips, and then that might be it. I might do triceps, though. We'll see what happens, bro. Because I uh, usually have stuff written down, but then I just be coming up with stuff I'm like, all right, well, I don't want this video to be too short. So then I just come up with something. I'm like, all right, bang, I gotta do this too. Make the video longer. But yeah, I'll probably honestly do triceps because I usually do chest and triceps on the same day. But yeah, we gonna get into it, man. Thank you. 
All right, y'all. So actually, I'm gonna include triceps. Um, same thing, bro. Only thing I'm doing different is overhead with the rope, which is usually I do with dumbbell or. Honestly, what do I do overhead triceps exercises with? Yeah, I usually do it with a dumbbell. But here, I'm doing it with the rope. But yeah, we're gonna do three sets of 10 to 12. And then that should be it. We're gonna finish off with that. Then we'll get into posing. All right, y'all, that is the end of the video, end of the workout. Let's get in some posing, see how we look at. Let's get it. But yeah, man, let me know how you're looking in the comments. As usual, I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, roll to 800 subs, and then roll to 1,000 subs. Well, let's say 900 first. Let's say 800 first, all right? But I appreciate you guys so much, man. <sighs> Love you guys, man. And sorry I wasn't talking as much. Um, I was really, this was like a locked in day. So I was really just locked in trying to get this workout done because it was crowded and everybody was doing chess. So I'm like, all right, I bang this out. <laughs> but yeah, man, love you guys. And as always, have a blessed one.